right back here on ESPN Bet Live, looking at the Midwest region because we haven't done that that yet. Purdue, the one seed, is the favorite, but Creighton and Tennessee right there at three to one. Zags, Jayhawks, and Longhorns coming in next. All right, you two, Dal and Joe, as you can guess, we're probably talking about the Midwest Regional, although this time it is Joe making the picks and Dallin providing the probably snarky commentary. Definitely. All right, Mr. Portenball, your turn. Not as tall, not as lean, <laughs> maybe a little bit more confident, though. We'll see how this plays out. Uh, I'm not going to dance around with Purdue. I'd love to see lightning strike twice. Who wouldn't want to pile on Purdue? Oh but we'll go ahead and advance them. I'm going to play TCU here. More on them throughout the course of this because I'm a big fan. If this were a Utah State home game, then that would be one thing. But playing on a neutral, TCU, the much more physical team, I'm going to back the Horn Frogs there. Anything so far? Like it. Continue, like it. Sir. Wow. Yes. Okay. That actually worries me a little Ooh. bit. I'd like to see him go. We, we went to the Mountain West Love. We took Mountain West Love. Yeah, let's get a little hate. It's okay. <laughs> little hate as well. I'll take Gonzaga over McNeese. Okay. I, truth be told, not super confident in this play. I think if you're betting it, you take the points with McNeese. I'll take Gonzaga to advance. Bigger bracket you're in, feel free to go with the upset. The, the thing about that pick is, again, when, they, when these teams become completely trendy, and I mean, watch McNeese say probably seven or eight on their games this year. They are talented. They are quick. It doesn't mean that the Gonzaga is going to be overwhelmed. It's not like Gonzaga hasn't seen that before. They played a brutal non-league schedule. In their league, it was a little bit different. I think they'll be fine. I do like the points, but I think they find a way through this game. But I think it's an entertaining game that Gonzaga wins. But I feel like everybody is on McNeese State right now. When you speak of trendy, remember a couple of years ago with Santa Barbara? Everybody yeah. loved Santa Barbara, and then they got rolled. It was like, that's great. I only had them winning three games. As we keep moving, let's go with an uh, upset down here. Sanford over Kansas. Not a lot to like about Kansas. They're banged up. They haven't been playing very well. And again, the bigger the bracket, the more risk you want to take. Why not throw an upset in there? This is the one that, that I find interesting and also concerning. And I, I saw this particularly watching the, the uh, championship game for their conference. They do, Sanford, play. You press you. Play 10 deep. Bucky ball. It's crazy. But when you get in the half court, they don't guard anybody. Mm. So, like, if Kansas can break the press and not get worn out, this game is at altitude, too, which is a critical part there of the game. There you go. Not get worn out. They can win this. Obviously, Kansas can win this game. But if it is up and down, and Hunter Dickinson's on 100%, and McCullough's on 100%, the points are great, and I think the upset is not going to be that surprising. I do appreciate that. It's in my contract. I will not touch that logo on screen. So, gotcha. well done right there. <laughs> Hadn't really thought about that, but I'm glad it did work out. I'm glad it did work out. Let's play Oregon. Better guard play here. Getting hot at the right time. South Carolina's been solid, but there's been some stumbling. Creighton, I'm a huge fan of in this okay. tournament. Getting a lot of box. Can I chime real quick with South Carolina? I mean, again, when we when we all are again, when everybody's on them, it does make me concerned. That South Carolina time is ba team is battle tested. You play at their temple, they grind you. Yes, Oregon's gotten hot. Fale Dante is healthy. South Carolina's seen it all right now. They they do have good, better shot makers, especially in league play. They've made more shots than in non-league play, and they guard the crap out of you. I'm going to take the Gamecocks, but I understand where you're coming. Okay, from. okay, so we'll be opposite on that one. Give me Texas, okay. mostly because we're not really sure who the opponent <laughs> is at the current moment. But honestly, Battle Trust is coming out of the Big 12. They had a 500 record in conference play, which some people would say eh, Big 12 best conference in the nation this year so far. So we'll take them, and we will play Tennessee here. Hey, no St. Peter's upset. Not a huge fan of Tennessee, to be completely honest. Rick Barnes, March, April. We already saw the makings of that in the conference tournament. So that's where we stand as of right now. Any commentary? Are you ready to advance? I feel like I'm going to hold my Rick Barnes Tennessee commentary to see where we end up okay. with them. Could you please push the button? Because I have no idea how this works. To the Sweet Six. We did that comedic I refuse to learn. I refuse to learn. I don't want to have to do it. Uh, TCU. Wow. Let's go. Purdue okay. bound in round two. Here's the thing with Purdue. A lot of people will focus on this and say, ah, it's because they lost last year. You don't like them. Matt Painter, since he's been at Purdue, they've been to the dance 14 times. They've made it to the second weekend six times. Oof. He's made one Elite Eight. Now, I'm not going to bang on the guy for not making Final Fours and winning championships, but historically, they have a lot of problems in this tournament. TCU coming out of the Big 12, I think they can get him here. Crazy? I love Paint. I think he's an outstanding coach. Yeah. Uh, but the facts are the facts. And the problem with this team, I think, is a team in Zach E. We've seen if he gets in foul trouble, they are so reliant on him. If he can foul, foul trouble, they can lose a game. We saw it in Nebraska. We saw it in other places throughout the course of the year. Their guard play. I continue to say this. It's not what I think you want it to be. Yes, they are good guards, but you can get up in them. And if TCU, one of the top in the country in fast break points, they do get into you. They are physical. They've shot it better in league play. When they do make shots, they are really tough to score to, to play against. I do think they can... Have a, it'll be battle with Edie as it always okay. is. But I'm right there with you. I'm on the Horn Frogs. So wow. you're crazy. I have the Horn Frogs exact same spot. Wow. That, now you know we're gonna. Now we're, now we're, we're gonna get blown. But up. Is gonna lose the opening is set up round for them. Outside of that one game, if, it, if it's Utah State, I feel like Purdue's going to the Final Four. Okay. okay. <laughs> if we can get through the first one, yeah, we'll get through I all of so. them. All right, give me Sanford. All right, Cinderella there, baby. Let's have Whoa. some fun. Let's go. Listen, bigger brackets. I, I designed this based on bigger brackets. If we're talking about my family's bracket, 
or something like that, then yeah, I'm going to get really chalky if there's eight of us. But if we're playing 2,500, 30,000 people, something like that, let's get loose. I don't really trust Love Gonzaga that. to the point where they're going to go deep. So that's going to be the move for me. Down there, let's play Creighton over Oregon so we can argue all we want to get about Oregon and South Carolina. But eventually, I'm going to go back to Creighton. Love what I saw from them on the road this year. Love the fact that they check a lot of Ken Palm boxes that we talked about earlier in the show. And then we'll play Texas over Tennessee because there's only so much I want to do with the Longhorns, or I should say with the Volunteers, given how we've seen them perform in big spots. The thing with that is I'm not sure Texas wins their opener. So let's let, yeah. let's, let's, let's just back up on that one. But like the Tennessee situation, this is not the Rick Barnes teams of the past where okay. it was literally all defense, offense, heinous. You had to grind it out. It was going to be a bloodbath. Literally, they beat Duke last year and Kyle Filipowski's bleeding out of underneath his eye. Oh, that's a shame. This, everybody was crying about that too. Um, this dude's the reason they're different. Dalton Connect. He is the best wing scorer in the country. Three-level score. Has had 30-plus in games. 40 in games. Road, home, doesn't matter. Makes threes a kid key times. I love them, and they still do guard the heck out of you, and other guys have stepped up. I think Tennessee is a complete team. Okay. Now, moment of truth as we get to the Sweet 16. Let's go ahead and play TCU over Sanford. The dream comes to an end. (laughs) Now, again, if TCU loses that opening round matchup, we're going to be in trouble here. There's going to be a lot of X's (laughs) going across the bracket on opening day. And then at the bottom, it's going to be Creighton over Texas. Again, it's a team that checks so many boxes for me based on what I've seen this season, which ultimately will lead to the Real quick on you. I have TCU in the Elite Eight, too. I have to be. Look I you guys. guys. This is, this is, this this is, is either going to be. Br- no, 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 no. It could be brilliant. It could be brilliant. It could be brilliant. <laughs> We're on television talking about how each of us is brilliant. That's <laughs> never going to happen. I, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm going positive vibes between now and the end of the week. Let's go positive vibes. Give me Creighton to come okay. out of the bracket. Uh, look, this could blow up a number of ways. If Purdue gets hot, that could prove me wrong. Tennessee plays hot, that could prove me wrong.